Now let's turn to the Voice to Parliament, a uh, report in the Australian newspaper this week that Labor politicians are getting spooked, are getting the jitters, because on the ground there's a lot of support for the No campaign. Graham Parent, you were one of the politicians quoted in the article. Uh, Queensland in particular is a state where the polls show that people aren't supporting the voice to parliament. What are you picking up on the ground when you're out speaking to voters as undoubtedly you are? Yeah, so I've had quite a few voice forums, community forums. I've got another one coming up with Mark Dreyfus, Eddie Sinnott from uh, the Uluru uh, Convention. Uh, certainly when it comes to door knocking and going to community groups, I've been to Rotary, Men's Sheds, uh, community centres. Mm. The people are, are interested in getting more information and people uh, want to find out. And people are... There's a lot of goodwill in my community. Now, there's 29 seats in Queensland that aren't... Uh, under my uh, that I don't represent, so I can't speak for them. Maybe my hometown of St George, there's some good mm. things coming out of there. But look, uh, people are desperate for some information, uh, and when you have the conversation, I've actually been able to turn many people around, and I'm quite optimistic about uh, the voice getting up in Queensland. I know we've got a lot of work to do, but knocking on doors, having uh, conversations in the street is something that all, all campaigns are about. You can move people along by having but respectful are you picking conversations. Up overwhelming, uh, no, you know, are you picking up that overwhelmingly people are supporting the no uh, campaign before no, you turn them around? No, definitely not. Definitely not in... Definitely not in my patch, uh, but, you know, it's it's a, a seat that's I've had a good relationship with a long time yeah. there. And the there fact... I just want to ask I've been door-knocking in some of the stronger... Yeah. Yep. The fact Sorry. that you are having to explain the voice to Parliament to people, do you think this is symptomatic of the fact that Anthony Albanese and Linda Burney aren't doing a good enough job explaining it? Well, it's, it might be a better question for, for Senator Davey because they said no before they'd even seen the question. Uh, so uh, I, I think because no That's was out truth. of the box so early and so loud... Pe well, it is true. You, the, the words hadn't no, been released, Senator Davey, and the Nationals, uh, the the words nationals had decided been to vote pretty no. Much, pretty much the words that have been released no, and I'm, have I'm, now I'm passed just, through Parliament I'm, are exactly I'm telling the, the same as the words I'm telling that were what actually, at the Gama Festival I'm, last year. Senator Davey, I'm just trying to say what actually happened. The Nationals decided on no before the words had been yeah. released to the but, uh, but Graham, Australian public. But, sorry to interrupt okay, here, so but when you people... just told me that when you're door knocking, you're having to explain it to people and then you turn them round. So I'm asking you, the some, fact that you people, are having yeah. to explain it to some people, doesn't that show that the Prime Minister and Linda Burney haven't done a good enough job of giving the detail about this? Well, that... As I was saying, Shari, the no vote was out of the, uh, out of the block so early and so loud that mis and misinformation is flying around. Now, a lot of people, when I knock on their door, said, "No, I'm definitely voting yes." Uh, have you got some information that I can get, uh, take to go and talk to my neighbours? People want signs in their yards. People are keen to achieve some change and some recognition and that small step towards reconciliation that Can, the voice will bring. I don't mean but to there keep are other asking people that are a little bit confused. I don't mean to keep asking you questions, Graeme, but what do you mean by misinformation? No, no, like, right. what's an example of what someone has uh, said to you that you think oh, is misinformation? misinformation that... Uh, well, I think the uh, deputy Liberal leader said that the uh, was asking, would the voice be able to make decisions about parking metres? Would the voice be able to uh, make decisions about uh, Anzac Day or Australia Day? There was all sorts of misleading and uh, questions that were you know, red herrings, basically, when it comes to what the voice is about. Well, the voice is about making sure First Nations people are involved in decisions that will affect them when it comes to health and education and the things that are challenges, those gaps that we talk about every year in Parliament. That's what The Voice is all about. That's going to be the focus of The Voice. It won't be a Canberra entity, as Peter Dutton has lied and said it will be. It will be a representative body that will be able to make sure a First Nations people are getting the best bang for their buck when okay. it comes to our let's tax bring, dollars. Let's bring That's Perrin all Davey. it's about.